Hello YouTube, I just wanted to do a quick video, I haven't done one in a while, and uh, I get some questions from time to time, so I figured I'd do a nice short one. Uh, still doing these wine boxes, uh, I usually do custom ones, people come to me and want their own pictures, graphics, whatever on them, uh, but these are for just our arts and crafts shows and stuff uh, and some of the wineries buy them just like this with their logo on the opposite side so basically they're all made out of cabinet grade half inch plywood and the top retainer is quarter inch and the handle is quarter inch they're all dadoed and stapled down and dirty and then I also do a one for a double bottle they're a big seller too so just something to keep in mind if you are looking for arts and crafts things to do to sell now this laser has been running glitch free no issues now this is the one I just got done doing you can see all the residue on it. I'm going to show you how simple it is to clean it up. I just use some of this odorless mineral spirit from Clean Strip. Buy it right at Lowe's. Okay. And you can see it just, just brings out all the residue. And as you can see, there is literally takes a second or two. That's it. There's nothing really to it. Uh, that's all there is about that. Now I'm just gonna go and here's the file. Okay. Give you a couple tips while I got you here. Now this one, number one, I put my logo on the bottom of every piece. I've up, changed the logo a few times, but I've, now I've got a smaller one that I can I use on that, and I also use on my magnetic-based refrigerator magnets that I give out when I do cabinet uh, work. And so anyway, I just want to show you, I, I build the boxes, I use a magnetic strip down there as a guide. It sticks to the metal on the bottom, not a lot, but a little bit. But I just use it for alignment purposes. So, these boxes are, I'm not real sure how tall, but they're pretty damn tall. And I fit them in there and I do them all. I used to do them each piece at a time. But what happened was if something screwed up when I was building it or the piece got messed up, then I, I wasted the energy of doing the laser engraving. So you can see all the residue coming off. Now I'm not running a fan because if I run the fan then you can't hear me. All it takes is two seconds with the odorless mineral spirits, vibrated lows, clean scope. It does a nice job. Uh, other than that, this machine's been running Without any glitches, nothing. I, I mean, as 
far as the Chinese laser goes, I'm glad I got it. I wish I didn't have to have it right in my shop. I wish I had some place that was a little cleaner to use it. Especially when you get two kitchens going on at the same time trying to build. So I got dust everywhere. But, alrighty YouTube, thank you. Thanks for watching.